Welcome back everyone, I'm Graven and this is Trails in the Sky. We are back on our way to Zeiss as we picked up the moss that we can use to uh, make the, not the antidote for Agate, but a mixture that will boost his resistance so he can overcome the poison whatever it is, because we have no idea what poison it is, so if he can't treat the poison, then we treat the body. So, let's uh, get to the chapel and see if we can make it. Uh, should be possible, unless we need another component we haven't thought of. I believe we should turn to the goddess Aedios for guidance after today's events. You seem worried as well. I pray Aedios protects and cares for you and washes your worries away. Yeah, but can she please make some medicine for us? Father, we got the Sumeria moss. You have it? I'm impressed you were able to get it so quickly. Can you use this uh, to make that medicine? Yes, yes, of course. I need to mix it in the bag. Come, if you please. Uh, the blue and gold consecrated by Septium, the source of all things, abides here. O oh, great goddess, we call on you your will to shape and purify the power distilled within. It is ready. Here, take this. Uh, Receive the Arf Sovereign Serum. What a pretty color. Do you drink this? Uh, yes. Mind you, this will not destroy the poison, it will only boost the patient's immune system, so that it may deal with the toxic agent itself. How very uh, Eastern. Uh, yes, it does share some of its origin with the more esoteric cures of the East. Go, take it to your friend. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you so much, father. So now we only thing we can do is give it to him and hope it works. It should work, right? Design room, no. It was the fourth. We're back, Doctor. How did it go? The priest gave us the medicine. Really? Oh, I knew he wouldn't let us down. Hand it over the R Sovereign Serum. I see. This will stimulate his natural immune response. It's worth a shot. Now, to get him to drink it. Dr. Mirian used an oral syringe to administer the medicine to Agate. Adios, please. Hmm. Ah. Whoa, why is he screaming like that? It's okay, I think he's going to be fine. Uh, what? The medicine is beginning to take effect. It hurts and it's rough on his system, but he'll recover. <laughs> exactly. This should take him out of any immediate danger from the neurotoxin. Okay. He's in so much pain. Yes, and he will be for the better part of the day. But he'll be alright. He's going to pull through and make a full recovery. And so, Akata's life was saved. Late into the night, Estelle and the others slept in shift to watch over him. Hmm, that's strange. Now where is that spare towel? Ha! Akate, he's sweating like crazy. I need to dry him. Akate, are you awake? I'll bring you some water. Misha? Hmm? Ah, oh, thank the goddess. There you are. I'm right here. Don't be scared. Just... Just... Agate? Tita put a hand to Agate's forehead, confirming his fever. She wrapped his brow and laid a cool towel upon him. Gradually the pain left his face and his breathing grew less... ragged. 
Soon all was quiet and calm and he drifted off into a peaceful slumber. Whew, thank goddess. But who's Misha? Maybe a lost little sister? I am truly sorry for having to uh, bid you farewell. Hey, it's okay. I really appreciated all your help. Are you taking this ship directly to Grenzel? Uh, yes, there is much I must do. If I weren't expected there, I would gladly remain and do my part to help resolve this kidnapping incident. Forgive me, little one. Oh, don't be silly. You've done a lot for us. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you saying so. The express flight to Grenzel aboard the Sicilia will be departing shortly. All passengers, please go to the departure gate. Oops, time to make my exit. Uh, take care. Hopefully we will meet again, fate willing. You betcha. Oh, how long are you going to be in Liberal? Mm, I couldn't say for certain, but probably until the Queen's birthday celebration. Ah, maybe we'll see you there. Until then, take care. Oh, same to you. And there she goes. Now then, to the guild first? Maybe they've learned something about that airship from before. Yeah, and they might have some intel from the Royal Armed Forces. What are you going to do, Tida? Mm, I think I'm going to look after Agate. Since he hasn't woken up yet, I don't think he will should be left alone. Tida. Oh, that's fine. Let us take care of finding the professor. I'm sorry. All I ever do is cause trouble for you. Would you listen to this kid? Where's that old spirit? Buck up, sweetie. We'll sort things out. I think it's a great idea for you to stay with him until he wakes up. We trust you to take care of him. Okay. Uh, that's one brave kid. She's so sweet. I'm kind of surprised that she cares so much about a guy with absolutely no manners, though. Well, come to think of it, you two are pretty similar to each other. Hmm? I have nothing in common with that jerk. How about your tendency to go off half-cocked and how soft-hearted you are? He talks like a big jerk, but he's always trying to protect others. I think that Tita sees that. Hmm. Well, I can't really argue with that. Fine. Let's just go and see what's up at the guild. Until I got this up and about again, we've got plenty we can investigate. That sounds fine. Morning. There ain't nothing like one of these energy drinks first thing in the morning. Free samples. <laughs> Alright, I think uh, one of the things we want to do is see if the librarian is back in again. Because we still haven't to be able to deliver it to her. And of course, seeing how Agate is doing. Seeing what's everything is happening at the guild. Good morning. Though my flowers smell nice. Well, they look, they smell adequate. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, see if we can check up on the librarian. I came to pick up some orbital cameras and my son actually helped me with it. What's uh, come over him? Oh, maybe he's worried for you after the attack. She's in, finally! Oh, you have made some progress. Yep, you betcha. And we brought you your book. Please, take a look to be certain. Yes. Oh my. This is indeed the right book. Thank you for finding it. <laughs> like there was any doubt. To be honest, I thought it was going to be a wild goose chase. I'm quite impressed that you actually managed to find it. Now I know I can leave the rest of the work in your hands. Wait, wait, what? What rest of the work? There's more? Oh, traditionally the researchers would hide three books. 
This leaves us with two still yet to be found. Did I not tell you? This is most definitely the first I've heard of it. <laughs> How odd. But you're already aboard the ship, so to speak. So I hope I can count on your full support until the end. Well, I guess so, but... You mean we have to deal with another unhinged person's idea of a game? Speaking of which, it's just like back in Ruin. Oh, no need to worry. The next book's hint has no words. Hmm? Really? The proof is in the pudding, as the saying uh, goes. See for yourself. Hmm. You got to be kidding. No comments or anything. The name of the book in question is Hertz Adventure the Second. Hertz Adventure the Second? Hmm. Okay, got it. Only the first part remained in the library, so it got quite frustrating having to listen to patrons ask about the sequel constantly. Well, I hope uh, this gets you up fired up to find it. <laughs> Lovely. Another brain teaser to figure out. I take back what I said about this stupid poetry. I'd much rather do that. Oh well. Either way, we still be stuck trying to uh, puzzle it out. Well, best of luck. I'll be waiting here, as always. Alright, we'll be off then. I will be back with that book before you know it. Okay, so we got four dots with a cross in the middle. So the cross will probably be where it is. So the four dots must be an indicator to the location where it's hidden at. Can you remember a couple of episodes ago where we were just uh, exploring the entirety of Zeiss area? And we got to a location on the map where there was actually nothing there but one chest with an enemy inside. And of course, a body of water. The thing I remember is that there are four stones there that look like a square. Maybe they're talking about that. Well, there's only one way to find out and actually going there and seeing if we can find something in the middle of those four stones. So, let's go there before we go to the guild. Just to uh, test it out a bit. But before we do, let's talk to uh, Tita and Agate. Thank you for yesterday. With your help, you've saved him. He hasn't woken up, but he's definitely passed the worst. He's no longer unconscious, just in a deep sleep. It won't be long before he wakes up, I'm sure. Estelle, how's Agate doing? Well, he's asleep. I think he'll be alright. How are you guys doing? <laughs> We're investigating. Just leave it uh, to us while you keep an eye on Akate. Okay. Be careful, Estelle. Uh, we will. Alright, he's definitely knocked out. Alright, so let's get to the guild first. Because I'm hoping when we get there we get a little bit of a speech about what they actually know. And maybe the last few side missions for this area. Because you can already tell where it's going. The big mission in this area is the retrieval, the rescue of uh, Professor Russell. And trust me, if we succeed in that, we're definitely going to get that recommendation. I can almost guarantee it. So, let's uh, do that. And that way, if I'm right, we can mix those few new side quests and location of that book to score some extra points. I always want to score some extra points. Morning, Kilika. Good morning. Ah, and to you both. Has Zin already left? Uh, yes, he took an airliner to Grenzel some time ago. I wish you could have uh, come see him off. Speak of which, do you two know each other somehow? <laughs> a bit, quite some time ago. But that's beside the point. Have you noticed a strange current in the air? The winds are shifting. Hmm, hey, no changing the subject. Wait, we are talking about the weather, aren't we? Have you learned something about that airship? Not a thing. But I believe this disquieting atmosphere is related to the Royal Army mobilizing. For one thing, I've sent a message to the Army headquarters at Leyston Fortress, but there has been no response. Secondly, all the mandatory inspections throughout the kingdom have been lifted. What? What's that all about? 
This isn't another turf war like with the Sky Bandits, is it? No. It would be strange for them to call off inspections if that were the case. If they had caught the culprits themselves, surely they would have sent word around. Maybe there is something in the air. Incidentally, I have not been able to contact the intelligence division of Lyston's fortress either. It is possible that the Royal Army has some sort of internal issue going on. Some sort of... Wait. The stuff that Doria shot. Uh, the picture of those guys in the black wearing the Royal Guard uniform. Hmm, someone mentioning my name? Dorothy, speak of the devil. And <laughs> yeah, verily. Wow, what an ordeal. I finally got in touch with my editor office and Niall happened to be there. When I told him about giving up my photo course to the army, he just about blew his sack, uh, stack. It's so unfair. Which means that they haven't given it back yet? Right, I mean, how rude is that? And after I've gone to the trouble of going to Lyson Fortress to get it back too. Wow, you've got some fire to you. <laughs> well, I guess I have to have one redeeming trait, right? Anyway, I didn't have any other option but to just take a picture of the fort for the paper. It does make for a great story though. It lights up all pretty at night. You take a pretty picture of the fort. Not to mention, you're supposed to obtain permission to photograph any part of military installation. Ah, come on, it's not like it's such a big deal. Here, take a look, I just developed it. Dorothy placed the photo on the counter. Hmm. That looks suspiciously like the airship that the bandits were using. Or am I just uh, seeing things for seeing things? <laughs> so this is Lyston Fortress. Wow, Dorothy, you really do have a good eye for this. Wait a sec. What's wrong, Estelle? It might just be my imagination, but do you see anything there on the top right? Hmm. You're right. It is not very clear, but there's definitely a small shadow there. Oh, you got a sharp eye, Estelle. I mean, I took the picture and didn't notice at all. <laughs> well, what can I say? Well, it's just a silhouette. Maybe it's an army ship? No, that's no guard ship. This is that small airship from before. Before? It's the same silhouette as the ship that the professor was taken away in. Right. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, hold on a second. Why would that ship be anywhere near here? This is the Royal Army installation, isn't it? Calm down, Estelle. There are plenty of possibilities to consider before we go jumping to conclusions. Maybe we should go straight to Lyson Fortress and ask what this is about. What? Ah, I see. You would tend to put it uh, to them directly. Provoke a response, perhaps? Do you think that would be a bad idea? Oh, not at all. You have my authorization. This has the potential to be a huge disaster. Whatever might be going on there. This matter must be handled delicately. Hmm, you're starting to scare me, Kilika. But you're probably right. We have to handle this very, very carefully. Hey, Dorothy, can we have a copy of this picture? Oh, sure. After all, you guys have done a lot for me. Ah, oh, thanks. I owe you one. If you intend to go to Lyson Fortress, you'll need to leave via the east entrance and take the Ritter Roadway. When you reach the three-way fork in the road, stay on the northern fork and you'll eventually wind up in front of the fort's main gate. Please, use the most caution. Roger that. Acknowledged. Estelle, let me know if you find something out, okay? It says scoop written all over it. Uh, we'll try, we'll try. Uh, the road to Lyson Fortress starts from the east uh, exit. The road splits up into three at one point. When it does, take the northern road and keep your eyes open. Ah, extra points. <laughs> Welcome back. It looks like you finished your job. If you clear any other contracts, make sure you come here and report it. We will. And one new Ritter Road Monster 2. 3000 Mira. Ferocious monster known as the Bloody Saber. Okay, it's medium, but we are going down that road, so we're probably gonna encounter it anyway. 
and that compared with the librarian librarian the plus quest 2 i want to do those two of course first as i always do so let's uh, go to the location I just as I mentioned, the one that we've been to a couple of episodes ago with the multiple rocks and see if that's the actual location where we need to be. It is the first location that pops up in my mind. So to be honest, I am very positive about it. So let's go there and see what we can find. Unless the game tells us we are not allowed to. They're going the wrong way Estelle. To read the lights in fortress, we have to go to the eastern door. Really? I swear. Damn. There's one thing. I don't want to use the reward hate, but I don't like the fact that in Zai so far, we have a lot of blockades. So a lot of moments that the game just say, you can't go there. Even though you have quests that you need to go to other locations in order to complete them. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> Ah, well, guess we're uh, going for a monster first then. Hmm. wonder how far on the road it will uh, be. Seeing as we already uh, defeated the monster here, I think, ooh, oh yeah, that's, that's definitely the monster. And it looks a lot like uh, the monster at the Mayor of Bose. They ruin, ruin, ruin. <laughs> yeah, just like the two dogs. <laughs> Ooh. Slightly hesitant because I'm not full. <laughs> On the other hand, 1380. And this uh, sensitive to water. Uh, let's attack the main body and see what he wants to do. Because we also learned a new move uh, when we walked back from the limestone cave back to Zeiss. That is the secondary S craft for um, Estelle. And I'm hoping the name is Barrage. That is also a full screen attack, so let's use it. After she did and does her normal attack, and hopefully. We can take out a few uh, enemies uh, with it. Oh no, it's still not target. I was hoping so much to be all hitter. All right, I'm gonna focus on Bloody Saber, and I still haven't figured out if the CP attack, that the uh, S-Craft gets stronger the more CP you have, or if it's just a level 100 and level 200 CP uh, move. Like, you have one strength on 100, and a secondary strength on 200, or if there is an exponential one with the more points you have, the stronger it is. Hmm, so let's just attack Bloody Saber. See what happens. And see if we can survive uh, the first onslaught. <laughs> Ooh, it, it is very strong, though. Can I try and take uh, Joshua? Gonna heal with it. It's good. Oh, I'm so hoping that I get to 200, but I am gonna use the all attack regardless. Even if it's just to take out uh, the main big guy. Cause that 10 strength, I cannot let that go. Beautiful. Alright, let's 
let's heal up a little bit. Because just drinking speed on one target. As long as we don't allow him to get critical. Or we <laughs> just stone him to death. Alright, we're good to go. <laughs> Exterminated monster on the Ritter Roadway. Mm, yeah, we are very close to town, so I might as well just record it. I report it, heal up, and then go straight to Lysen Fortress, because we need to continue on with the main story if we want to have access to the location I want to check out for the book. So we have no other choice. Six points and Mira. Ooh, an advancement to rank second class. Nice. A grill locket accessory. All right. Prevents all abnormal statuses except KO. An ornament modeled after the Holy Septian artifact. Now I'm gonna give this to my best boy. That way it works very well with the gladiator headband. That will that raises CP and there's no status that can uh, turn him down. So a very powerful fighter. Yeah, she can uh, still keep going with these two. Huh, did we never? Did we never give him the shoes back again? I thought that we would have done that automatically. Oh well. Mm, Alright, I'm gonna go uh, have a sleep at the inn. I will see you when we get to Lyston Fortress. Alright, let's see if we can find some shady business going on here. Uh, wow, check out the size of this base. It's gotta be several times as big as the Hakan Gate, don't you think? Yeah, you may be right. It was apparently the primary base of counter-offensive in the war, 10 years ago. Ah, okay, that's pretty impressive. Well, let's go inside and see if we can talk to who's in, ever is in charge. What is it? Oh, nothing. It's just that you're not acting like your usual timid self. You're starting to remind me of that. Ah, oh, come on. It's not uh, like uh, I'm not nervous. But after General Morgan, how bad can it be? <laughs> I guess you're right. I wonder if he's still uh, at the Hakan Gate. Probably. Maybe. Does it matter? I don't think so. No other things laying around. Hmm, there's no one here. That's strange. There's usually a gatekeeper uh, outside at least. Identify yourself. Huh? Where did that come from? Probably a speaker. This is Lyston Fortress, HQ of the Liberal Royal Armed Forces. This place is off limits to civilians. I'm afraid you're going to have to leave. Hmm. They sound polite, but... Yeah, I think they're just being extra cautious. <clears throat> Can you two hear me? Oh, sorry, but we're not civilians. We're from the Bracer Guild. Yeah, we're here to discuss the matters of the central lab being attacked. Could we please speak with the individual in charge? Are you actual bracers then? If you don't believe us, you can inspect our emblems. You can see them, right? Indeed, you appear to be the genuine article. However, I regret to inform you that the CO of this base is currently away. Perhaps you can come back another day. No commanding officer? Well, that just sounds sloppy. And very suspicious. I don't like the feel I'm getting from this fortress. No guard, the CEO is not here. And if you don't know what CEO is, it's the commanding officer. I've heard that spoken a lot in series that I'm watching. In that case, anyone from the intelligence division will be fine. We have information that must go either to Colonel Richard or Captain Amaltia. 
Very well, wait here. Phew, it's like pulling teeth with these guys. Yeah, I wasn't expecting security to be quite this tight here. Whoa. Well, someone's here at least. Please, forgive me for making you wait. I am Major Sid, garrison commander of Layston Fortress. I'm Estelle Bright of the Brazer Guild. And I'm Joshua Bright, also of the Brazer Guild. Bright? Is something wrong? Oh, no, no nothing, pardon me. On the business, uh, you mentioned the attack on the central labs? I'm very sorry, but no one from the intelligence division is currently here. If you'd have a message, I can deliver it for you. Hmm, that could be a problem. Okay, time to shake things up. Uh, we caught the people who attacked the lab. We've confirmed the whereabouts of Professor Russell. And we have a lead on the airship tied to the crime. Well, to be honest, if we say we caught the people who attacked the lab, that doesn't do anything. If we could resp check our response, but it would be a very light response because it doesn't say anything to them if they're in cahoots with the criminals. Uh, we've confirmed the whereabouts of Professor Russell. We don't know that. So, if they call our bluff, we'll be in trouble. What we do have, however, is a picture with an airship above Layston Fortress. Personally, I think this would be the best answer. Like we have a lead on the airship tied to the crime. And if they ask for what kind of evidence do you have, we can show the picture. So, I think we're good on that part. And uh, here we found a lead on the airship that took away the professor. You what? What? Uh, why do you look so surprised, Major? Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. We've just been searching for it too. So what is this lead anyway? Uh, take a look at this. Hand it over Dorothy's photograph. This, this is Lyson Fortress, isn't it? How did you get this picture? Now, now, no need to get worked up. Look at the top right corner of that picture. Let's see. What the? That's obviously not a silhouette of a military patrol ship, is it? And it's a splitting image of the airship that took away the professor. Indeed, this is a grave matter. Thank you for your cooperation. I'll send a report to the intelligence division straight away. Hmm? Hey, wait a minute. Is that it? Is what it? I mean... Don't you think this is weird? Why would the suspect ship be hanging around here? It's embarrassing to admit, but I'm afraid that it's entirely my fault. We have been aggressively searching along the border, so security wasn't so tight at home as it should have been. And if this airship fled to the north, it's possible this whole matter may have been a plot by the Empire. Really? I'd like to know just one thing. Where exactly are all the intelligence personnel right now? That's classified. I'm sorry I can't say more. Very suspicious. If I had to go on a limb, I would say he knows more than he's letting on. Okay now, but maybe it's just me, but don't you think this is all kinda smells a little funny? I know, but without any concrete evidence, pursuing this lead won't do us any good. Yeah. What the? Hey, why did it stop short? What? Did a phenomenon start up again? Joshua, that's... Yeah, I think that's exactly what we needed. The Black Orbment. They're experimenting on it, isn't it? It seems that I've lost... Uh, let you see us at our worst. It looks like the gate mechanism is in the best conditions. <laughs> Indeed, that's a real problem. Maybe you could get some folks from the central labs out to repair it. I'll bet that someone like Professor Russell could have it uh, good as new in no time flat. Ah uh, yes, I'll keep that in mind. You two, uh, maintain your post here until it's back in working order. Be sure to keep any careless civilians away. Y yes sir. Understood sir. Uh, that said, you two can be on your way. I'll be certain to take uh, that photograph to intelligence. Now if you'll pardon me.
You're the man, this area is off limits. Be on your way. Mm, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Somehow, I find it hard to believe a word that guy said. Especially if that little malfunction we just saw is what I think it is. <laughs> yeah, it was probably the same phenomenon. Which would mean the professor's being held prisoner inside. Shh, Estelle. This isn't a place to be discussing that. Oh, okay. For now, let's head back to Zeiss and see what Kilika has to say. If we have to, the chance, we can uh, call for the lab chief. I just can't believe that Professor Russell is at Lyston Fortress. Are you absolutely certain? Miss Dorothy's photograph and the shutdown of orbital power in the gate. These two things combined make the conclusion inescapable. But the Central Factory and the Royal Army has always had excellent relations. And now I expected to believe this. It's not as if the internal command structure of the military is all run by a single entity. The people who attacked the factory were seen escaping. And they look like royal guardsmen, that in itself is a clue. Oh, that would mean... Uh, the business with the royal guardsmen is unrelated. The royal guardsmen are behind the whole thing. The royal guardsmen are being set up. Well, it's either one of these two. That they are behind the entire thing. Or they are being set up. But if we think about it. If Mayor Sid is involved. Major, the, that we just saw. Then is this a better thing to say in a cause and effect kind of thing? Because if they're being set up, the Major itself would not have been involved in it. Maybe a couple of sentries and a couple of people in the outfit of the Royal Guardsmen, but not Major Sid. I'm gonna go with the second one. The Royal Guardsmen are behind the whole thing? Well, it's not outside the realm of possibility, but I think it's more likely that there's been some kind of frame up. There's maybe some form of internal conspiracy within the Royal Army. Hmm, this is unpleasant to think about, but how could the professor get caught up in something like that? Hmm, sounds like you found a lead on the friendly neighborhood criminals. Huh, Agate? Good to see you back on your feet. Yeah, I just woke up a few moments ago. It was a little weird waking up in a strange place after being uh, put to bed like some baby. Oh, for the love of... Everyone was worried about you, alright? Are you going to be okay with moving around so soon? Yeah, sleeping so damn much didn't give me any other option than to recover. I'm feeling pretty much back to normal. But Agate, you should probably rest some more. You just got the poison out of your system and the doctor said... I just said... I'm fine. I've been training for years, it's not that rough on someone like me. Hmm. Alright, alright, I get it. I won't overdo it or anything until I'm back to normal. That cool with you? <laughs> okay. Damn, kids. Yes, he was 100% manipulating him on an expert level. <laughs> Even the mighty Agate is no match for Tita. I guess it's hard to say no to someone who's kept a constant vigil over you and nursed you back to health. Ah, shut up. Getting back to the point, it looks like a lot... Uh, been going on while I've been out of commission. Mind filling me in on the details? Oh uh, sure. Estelle explained that all signs pointed to Professor Russell being held captive at the Lyston Fortress. Oh, I can still believe that Grandpa's in there. I wouldn't have thought those goons in the black clothes were army types either. Hmm. And suddenly I'm feeling better than ever. What say we go and settle our debts right now? Settle our debts? Ain't it obvious? We sneak into Lyston Fortress. We'll bust the professor out and they'll never know what hit him. Ah, okay. Like settling everything in one big uh, stroke. I'm afraid it's not that simple. Hmm? The Brazer Guild has a long-standing policy of non-intervention when it comes to the nation's military. Article 3 of the Guild Code, Bracers and non-involvement in military or political matters. A Bracer will recognize the nation's sovereignty and may not interfere with nor arrest any person of national military or political standings. Or to put it more simply, as long as the army is playing dumb about this, our hands are tied. Uh, you gotta be kidding. No way, that doesn't make sense. 
You mean that we can witness a crime, but if it's done by a soldier or politician, we just have to pretend we didn't see anything? Essentially, yes. There is, however, a loophole. Article 2 of the Guild Code, Bracers and their duty to the people. In the event of an unjust imprisonment or citizen of the Bracers for on duty, is to bear the responsibility for the citizen's safety. Do you understand the significance of this? Yes, that means that even if the army is involved, we have the right to protect a citizen of the country, which is Professor Russell. I think that's what she's uh, hinting at. Ah, I see. The first is not a politician or a soldier. He's a civilian whom we are sworn to protect. So then, the rest hinges upon you, Mr. Murdoch. In this case, we are obligated to oppose the Royal Army and save Professor Russell. Will you help? Ah, stupid question. The factory needs him. <clears throat> Hell, all of Liberal needs him. Go and get him. Mr. Murdoch, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, no need to thank me. I owe Professor Russell for all he's taught me. And so we have an adequate justification to proceed. Bracer Agate, Estelle and Joshua. You are hereby ordered to proceed to Lyson Fortress and rescue Professor Russell. It's not as above board as you may be accustomed to, but it is the request of the Bracer Guild, nevertheless. Now you're talking. Acknowledged. Hey, bring it on. If we're done doing this, we have to figure out how we're getting in there. Lyson Fortress is pretty damn famous for being impossible to break into. Oh, that's true. It's easy uh, to say we're going to do it, but then putting it into practice is going to take some serious planning. There has to be some way of getting inside. Unfortunately, the security there is nigh unto perfect. Approaching from the lake would likely be impossible since it's monitored by a network of orbital sensors. Hmm, yeah, I figured as much. And the frontal assault would be tantamount to suicide. Hey, Mr. Murdoch, you know that orange airship that goes to Lyson Fortress? Uh, yes, that's the Liebnitz. It makes periodic stops to inspect the equipment at the fort to make sure it's performing properly. Is there any way we could sneak into the fortress on it? No. All the crew members go through a thorough security check as soon as they land. It will be impossible to just sneak away. How about stowing away in the cargo? No good. Each container is scanned with a bio sensor for living creatures. And they check each and every one. Plus those sensors were designed by Professor Russell himself. They can even pick up one little mouse in a huge mess of stuff. Hmm, well, damn. Oh, uh, what is it, sweetie? Don't you remember? Grandpa's invention from when uh, I was shown uh, showing you around. Let me think. Ah, when we're helping with the experiments on a new type of orbit, right? <laughs> yeah. It produces a, a force field that can disrupt the biosensors. We already tested that it worked, so everything will be fine. What, really? I had no idea the professor had ever made anything like that. Where is this device then? I guess it might be right where we left it, in this laboratory. Then we have no time to lose. Hurry and retrieve this device. In the meantime, I will gather and collect whatever data I can on Lyson Fortress. Got it. Thanks. I'll leave the arrangement of delivery via the Liebnitz to you, Mr. Murdoch. Uh, Alright, I'll talk to Gustav. Just come to the airfield when you're ready. Perfect. Alright. No new quests. And all we need to do is pick up the device at the professor's laboratory and then go to the airliner, the station. So now should be the right time for us to go and look for that book. But that will be next time. We're going to start off next time with that. So until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you like this episode, don't forget to hit that button and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.